Hey everyone, my name is Gunther and welcome back. Uh, today, uh, there's a few things we have to discuss. Now, uh, all the way over here, we have our Arctic point and we kind of, uh, we kind of built a pigeonhole for ourselves. Uh, and what I mean by that is uh, we don't have a whole lot of space to build another exhibit here. Uh, originally, I thought about moving the reindeer from here to uh, over to here. And then in turn, we would replace this with our uh, polar bear exhibit without realizing that uh, polar bears require a lot of space. Actually, more space than what this entire exhibit is currently providing. Uh, we would need to increase it significantly. So there's a few options we can have, and I have to kind of mull it over. Um, one is we can build another exhibit. We can kind of wrap it around and have uh, like a little bit of a point going up and over so they can kind of view in. Um, otherwise, we uh, and then we would uh, scrap this entire, the majority of this exhibit, we kind of push it out a little bit and then fill it back up for the uh, the polar bears. So that's option number one. Option number two, we leave it as is. Uh, our Arctic point is uh, quite uh you know, I think packed together really, uh, really closely. We have three iconic uh, Arctic animals. So we have our uh, Arctic fox, our Arctic wolf, and our reindeer. And uh, leave it as is. I, I don't know. I'm mean, gonna definitely have uh, to do some thinking on this one. Uh, now, in the comments uh, over the last uh, the last episode, uh, you know, definitely got some feedback, and uh, somebody actually mentioned uh, maybe a beaver. And I think. A beaver is like the most iconic Canadian animal. I couldn't even, you know, why couldn't I have thought of that? So I think we're gonna turn this into a uh, beaver exhibit for a few reasons. Uh, I've actually been to a few zoos. Beavers are super social uh, from what I understand. Actually, you know what, I say that, uh, but I actually haven't looked into it. <laughs> uh, they are uh, neutral relations with humans. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, they can have quite a, quite, you know, quite a few, so up to eight. Uh, and we look at it like right here, eight would be uh, not bad. I think this entire exhibit would fit uh, eight, up to eight uh, of our uh, intrepid young fellows. Uh, so I'm, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. You know, we'll kind of have a little bit of like a water zone over here, work up to a little bit of a beach and then like a dense forest kind of over here and maybe try to make like our own little dam, something like that. So that's the idea. I think that's what we're gonna work on today. But before we do that, we have a uh, we have a few things to kind of uh, to kind of figure out. Uh, somebody actually commented that I uh, pulled out the uh, wrong armadillo, and I think you are uh, one hundred percent right. So let's just take a quick look, <laughs> make sure uh, we uh, see who do we have here. Uh, we did pull out the female. Um, and the male. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull the male. Uh, we're gonna move them to the uh, to the. Um, which I'm gonna call it over here to the uh, the trade center, and the reason why uh, we can't uh, the, we we purchased the uh, the animals at one point, um, so we just have to keep that in mind. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna see if maybe we can pick up uh, another uh, armadillo uh, to uh, start breeding and uh, creating a more sustainable um, uh, a more sustainable. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> a more sustainable um, species. Uh, I'm Where is, for the life of me, I can't find this armadillo. Where is it? Oh, it's in his burrow, that's why. Okay, uh, let's see here. <laughs> we need to find, it is a, a nine-banded armadillo go to the market we need to pick up a male we have no males in the market so we're gonna have to circle back and take a look at that uh, she is expecting offspring though so that'll repopulate and get it back up to two and then we'll uh we'll, you know we'll cycle through uh that is number one number two is we uh as you just saw we have uh guests think our zoo is uh criminally underpriced so let's just up this a little bit more uh you know we'll we'll make it a little bit easier Overall, uh, generally a very uh, high average uh, animal welfare, very happy with that. A lot of our money is sunk into our yearly wages. Uh, and part of the reason why is because we uh, we started uh, training all of our uh, all of our uh, keepers. So we're going to continue our training and uh, make sure that everybody's uh, left uh, happy and uh, and whole. I think uh, that might have been might have been the last of it. Perfect. 
<laughs> That's about it. We've also, uh, a little bit off camera, had uh, quite a bit of our uh, mechanical research uh, completed, um, working through that. And same for our pet research. We finally unlocked the first grizzly bear uh, research, uh, which is always nice. And what's going on here? Um, uh, unhealthy. And I will say, we have to address this situation. So <laughs> there's a few reasons. Uh, as you can tell, uh, the water is looking a little uh, a little pale. Uh, and the reason why is because uh, we don't have a water filtration service anywhere nearby. Originally, my intent was to uh, is to tack it on to like, uh, part of our uh, additional like, little food out uh, area. Um, and I never got to it. And truthfully, this is a uh, very small exhibit. If you uh, zoom out and look at the Sioux as a whole, it's our smallest exhibit. Uh, when you, even when you compare it to our uh, Arctic foxes, which is uh, which is really terrible. So we uh, we will definitely have to figure out a new solution for this. We're going to have to scrap this and uh, rebuild our uh, to rebuild our uh, our uh, grizzly bear exhibit. Uh, but uh, suffice to say, we uh, we do need to uh, address what's happening here and uh, and get this started. So we will uh, we'll we'll start that off.
So uh, that took a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, you definitely saw a few things there. I, I'm <laughs> going to cut out a little bit. Um, but uh, first things first, this is my first exhibit with a, uh, with a deep swimming uh, area. And I'm quite happy with this in the sense that I, uh, that I uh, kind of created um, some dead trees, you know, mixed in with some rocks and uh, some uh, under, uh, underwater uh, vegetation. And the idea behind it is as, uh, as beavers would start to uh, tear down trees, we would see the water line start to, uh, start to expand. And uh, that was the idea behind it. We wanted to really see where, you know, as they were kind of like cutting down the trees, the, the, you know, they would fall in the water, they would naturally lay at the bottom. Of course, we also have this uh, monstrosity, <laughs> which is their, uh, their, their, uh, their shelter. And the idea behind it is uh, it was uh, the goal was to emulate a habitat. Now, I'm going to say this, and whether or not you believe me, it's intended to look 50% man-made. Uh, yeah, 100%, 50% man-made, uh, which is where you see the uh, the log roof. Uh, but then we place some additional logs on top of it to kind of give it that a uh, little bit of more of a, of a natural dam appearance. Now, as time would go by, we would see the beavers actually start to, uh, I, you know, I would assume the beavers would start to kind of develop this even more and, you know, drag, like, you know, put more on it, you know, pat it down, things like that. So that, that's the idea behind it. Uh, but uh, I am, uh, I'm quite happy with this exhibit overall. It, 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 you know, it definitely, um, definitely going to need a lot of extra work. I'm just going to pause here because we can see we have quite a bit going on uh, that we need to address. Uh, so that's number one. We, uh, we've we dealt with that. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. We, have, of course, also uh, created these two little uh, offshoots. And the idea behind it is it's to keep the uh, traffic flowing through. And we're seeing that, you know, they have the ability to flow through. They can come kind of stand on the edges and look in. But m for the most part, they should flow through nice and smooth. Uh, that's uh, that. Uh, we had a bit of an overcrowding issue, so we've uh, we've uh, released some of our artifacts into the wilderness. Uh, managed to gain almost 500 conservation credits, which was fantastic. And then we had a few uh, a few minor mishaps. Number one, uh, our baby reindeer managed to climb up over here, and uh, that counted as an escape, which is uh, not what we wanted. So I've gone through and I've had to rejig this a little bit. And on top of that, I totally forgot to check. We have a uh, an Arctic wolf pup somewhere around here. I don't know where, but he uh, managed to climb up on top of, uh, I think this rock actually. And it again, counted as an escape. So we had to fix that. 
And then, of course, we have our grizzly bear habitat. They are uh, definitely overcrowding. Uh, so they've had their, uh, their offspring. And uh, the result of having uh, their offspring is the fact that we have two bears that can't really, uh, they can't really stay in, uh, in the exhibit. And uh, what that means is we're going to need to, uh, we're gonna need to set some of them free, which is, uh, you know, it's, it's both good and bad at the same time. So we're gonna get released these guys into the wild. That's a, a large amount of conservation credits, so we'll definitely take that. But we do need to address this situation sooner rather than later. Uh, it's starting to add up. Uh, so we uh, lastly got a, uh, we, we uh, received a, um, an inspection report, and I'm actually kind of curious to see how this inspection report uh, went. Uh, $3,500 in vines. We actually had a, a few escaped animals, and they spotted a, uh, a protester, which is uh, never good. In fact, do we actually even have any protesters in the, uh, do we have protesters? That's the uh, easiest way to do this would be, uh, let's see here, animal welfare. Where is animal welfare? We have shelter, habitat, cleanliness. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, not good. <laughs> uh, but generally fairly, fairly good. Okay, cool. So that should, that should clear itself up as we uh, unpause the game. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's what we've done. I, I'm actually quite uh, quite interested to see how this uh, this uh, kind of uh, plays out. I think uh, off camera, I might uh, fill in some of our uh, memorial wall uh, with uh, some of the animals that have uh, you know uh, regretfully uh, passed on. The one last thing we have to kind of uh, we have to do, and it's not uh, it's 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 going to be a placeholder. We we have to admittedly do this. Because uh, if we don't, we're going to have some long-term health issues. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place right there. We're going to replace our water treatment center right here. This is going to help treat this water. Uh, we we definitely want to uh, to keep that moving as uh, as much as possible. Uh, so that's uh, that's it. Let me know what you thought. Uh, I'm I'm very interested. Uh, this is uh, is it by far the best build? Mm, probably not. But again, it's a it's an effort to improve uh, skills, and uh, that's uh, that's where we're at. I never thought I would ever be able to build something like this, and I'm I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, that tree looks kind of weird where it is, but hey, we'll uh, we'll take it. Uh, yeah, as always, feel free to leave your like, uh, drop a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the uh, the the uh, episode. I have toyed with the idea as well, and you know I would love to get your feedback. I don't know why I'm putting this at the end of the episode, but hey. I, I'm, uh, I've opened up a Discord channel uh, specifically for Planet Zoo, and you know I figured this would be a great way for you guys to provide feedback, real time, things like that. Um, so let me know what you think, if that's something that would be, uh, would be of interest to you. Uh, of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's, it's just an effort to uh, kind of uh, connect a little bit more. Um, so keep me posted on that one. Otherwise, uh, ciao for now, everybody.